Hello and welcome to this episode of Kennedy Save the World. It's Friday. It's time to get happy. It's been a crazy week um, with OJ passing and now firmly planted in a very warm place we call hell. Uh, it's time to toast to moving forward with all of our lives. And joining me now, um, Fox News senior correspondent of banking, Kelly O'Grady. <laughs> I wish. Can we get that title Absolutely approved? Absolutely right. Yeah. Fabulous. I'll call legal. Um, <laughs> cheers to you. Ah, oh, cheers. You have your own mocktail. This is the Lady mm-hmm. O'Grady. Um, and I, this is, uh, it would be, theoretically, if we were if we were doing it right, it would be peach juice, okay. blueberry stoli vodka, mm-hmm. um, peach hard high noon, and um, a little blue curacao. It's a very, very spring, so very to fruity in all its forms. And bank failures. Mm. That's good. Oh, the peach. I can really taste the peach. That's good. That comes through. It would be even better with that vodka. (laughs) If only we had blueberry vodka in there. That's for the weekend. Yeah. (laughs) I was just at mom's weekend um, with my daughter for the first time. She's a freshman in college. And I had a a real cocktail. It was not a mocktail that Mm -hmm. looked something like that. So I tried to replicate it It as best I could. I love it. But I couldn't do the whole thing because my liver would quit on me. <laughs> it would just wave the white flag. Yeah, and we're not freshmen anymore. Wheel itself to a hospital <laughs> to be removed. <laughs> oh, the days when you could do that in college. Some of the moms drank like they no. they were college freshmen. It was wild. And maybe maybe they miss. Maybe they have longing in their hearts. Yeah, it was a, it was a it was a throwback. Little it was retro a weekend, exactly right. And and recovery. I was not judging them. I was celebrating. I was singing and dancing, but I was also asleep by eleven every night. <laughs> Well, the, honestly, that is my favorite type of night out. Like mm-hmm. you have the cocktails, yes. but then you also can wake up at 9 a.m. That's the nice thing about yourself. being an adult. No, you're exactly. like, I'm going to have good food. I'm going to do this in the right order. I have mm-hmm. nothing to prove. Mm-hmm. I'm going to appreciate a lovely sip. Mm-hmm. Maybe it will be a sorority drink, which I specialize in. <laughs> Maybe it'll be some sort of a high-end old-fashioned. I don't know. Mm. Where are you from? I am from Boston, Massachusetts. Solid. Yeah. Are you Irish a Red Sox girl. fan? I am a Red Sox fan, but yeah. probably my favorite team is the Patriots. Huge, okay. huge, huge football girl. So that's the most important thing to you. My dad wanted a boy, so we and he got me. And so we spent all our time growing up watching Tom that's Brady. That's amazing. Yes. And of course, you know, the demise of that. No, but it's like it, there's nothing like watching sports with your dad. It is yeah. the greatest way to bond. You don't have to be a boy to love sports. Mm-hmm. And and girl dads learn that in short order. Oh, yeah. He also learned to love Grey's Anatomy in short order, no. too. <laughs> so it's give and take. You and my 15-year-old, that's so funny. She's seen every episode, I think, three times. There's my a lot of seasons. <laughs> yeah, there are. Yeah. yeah, we were discussing today, and she, was, she said that show just keeps going on. She's mm. like, it's like Law and Order SVU. And I said, but, you know, is it still good? Is Because I haven't seen the newer seasons. And yeah. she was like, no. And she actually said to me, I think they would probably cast me as a neurosurgeon. They're willing to put anyone in the show now. Well, it, I mean, I remember, I used to work at Disney and I was at ABC when mm-hmm. it was kind of in its heyday. Yes. And, you know, Shondaland and everything. And there would always be some crazy thing that happens in Seattle though like a bomb explodes I know. like every I lived in Seattle yeah I was like is is this real I don't no. think so mm-hmm. um but yeah at this point Fairy it just seems like a money maker and, right terrorist right. attacks yeah mm-hmm. terrorist attacks inside the hospital yeah it was uh it's, it's a very dramatic place mm-hmm. a friend of mine who lived in Seattle was having migraines and uh I called her sister and I said it's a shame because the world's finest neurosurgeon <sighs> used to live and work in Seattle, but he's since died. And she was like, who is that? And I said, Nick yeah, Derek Shepard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, When once they killed him off, I was kind of like, all right. Yeah, I, that was too painful. Yeah. And agreed. I get it. Patrick Dempsey has to move on. Mm-hmm. He was in the Ferrari movie recently. He had like a shock of white hair, which was a pretty cool look for him. Mm-hmm. I saw him at the Formula One race in Vegas. Oh, you went to the Formula One? I did. Oh, that is awesome. It was cool. I am a huge Drive to Survive fan. Me too. That's how I... And, and I don't feel yes. bad about it at all. Oh, that was I the on-ramp. No, I'm yeah. not... I'm not like, man, I've been following it for years. No, no, no. none of that. Total bandwagon fan over yep. here. Um, very sad that Gunther from the Haas team is no longer... I'm devastated by that. He was... He was the show. He was like a walking soundbite. Every time he said wanker. They think we're wankers. Yeah. Gene, we could have been rock stars. <laughs> but now we look like wankers. 
<laughs> it's honestly impressive that he lasted that long. I bet yeah. you Netflix paid Gene, uh, the the Haas team owner, to for keep sure. him on. Yeah, yeah, we'll pay his salary. Yeah, Whatever it sure. takes. <laughs> you guys suck. Keep sucking. If you suck, the better, the more you suck, the better it is for us. Better TV. Yeah, because Americans are invested in the Haas team. Mm-hmm. We want them to do well. But yeah, I was I was so sad to see Gunther go. Who's your favorite driver? So I. This feels like so cliche, but I love Lewis Hamilton because I think right now he's in that like Federer phase where Mm -hmm. he was the god Mm -hmm. and now he's in that comeback phase. Okay. Questionable that he signed with Ferrari and he's still driving with Mercedes this season. It'll be interesting to see where that goes. But what about you? Who's your favorite? I love Carlos Sainz. Mm. So I'm kind of devastated that the Ferrari cut him loose because he's a better driver than Lewis now. Well, and he's crushing it this season. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, he he's like, I-D-G-A-F. <laughs> and he's probably saying it in Espanol the well, whole time. He, he's on the revenge tour. Yeah. He's which, like, oh, you want to cut me? Yeah, yeah. It's like, when Carlos Sainz made his heel turn, it was one of the best things that's happened to Formula One. Mm. Because he's like, he was the nice guy for so long. And, you know, he was willing to move aside and let Charles pass him by. But now he's oh, like, yeah. oh, hell no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and podium again. Mm-hmm. Hope you like that. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and win a race. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think we'll see where he ends up. Maybe, maybe Mercedes, right? Maybe we'll just do a slot. If gonna they someone. have a good car. Yeah. I mean, it would be kind of funny if all of a sudden Mercedes had a sick car again. And then Carlos right. is like, I'm better than George. Or... I'm better than Lewis. <laughs> I'm better than all of you. The thing that I would like to Except for see, you, though... Max. I am no better than you. <laughs> well, so that's what I want to see. Because Christian Horner... He loves to push his people to the limit, clearly. Clearly. And what are you wearing? I, you wearing would love, <laughs> I would love Can I to see, see that. Send me a picture of your Spanx. <laughs> like, ew. God. Yeah, he's in he's this an day and age, character. you think that's not going to come bite in the ass? Not, not ideal. Very excited to see how Netflix plays that out for us. Oh, I can't wait. But I'd love to see Signs and Verstappen because mm-hmm. it would just, it, finally, you get Signs in, in probably the best car, yes. right? And that could be. We could see the end of Max Verstappen. Maybe. Checo's been doing well mm-hmm. as well this year, though. True. So everyone's yeah. like, ah, he's going to retire in Mexico, and that's going to be it. And it's like, no, he's he's still driving. Yeah. Well, and surviving. <laughs> and surviving. How long have you been at Fox? Uh, two and a half years now. Okay, and where have you been? Because I've seen you in Los Angeles, but you live here. Yes. So actually, I was in Los Angeles for the first two and a half years. Okay, and I cool. just recently moved to the New York Bureau, which is so exciting. How do you like it? Because there's a big difference between those bureaus. Yes. The LA Bureau is wonderfully small. Mm-hmm. Like you literally see the Nicest everyone. people on earth. Oh my gosh. I miss my LA Bureau folks mm-hmm. so much. Um, I've always wanted to live in New York though. Yeah. And so being here is such a huge opportunity. You get to see folks like you in person. That's right. Which is great. And my husband. I'm real. Pinch, pinch. There we go. <laughs> You're not AI. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and my husband also was living here. So. Oh, great. Yeah. That's a huge Oh, huge wonderful. Plus. So you're mm-hmm. all under the same umbrella now. I know. That's and great. And we haven't killed each other yet. Congratulations. So, yeah. That's so exciting. So what is on your bucket list to do in New York that you haven't done yet? Oh, gosh. Probably every rooftop bar that mm-hmm. has that, that sort of typical, you know, uh, touristy thing. No, I, it's getting to be that time of year. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. it's a touristy thing because it's great. Right. And, right. you know, it's like people know how to gravitate to. And there are some good rooftop bars around where we are at Fox. But mm-hmm. that's the fun thing is to kind of go throughout the city and find new stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I also, um, one of my favorite things to do in Los Angeles, this is going to sound really morbid, but they have movies. At the Hollywood movies. Forever Cemetery. Yes, thank you. It's one of my favorite things. And apparently they also do something like that where I'm located in Astoria. So I'm oh, cool. excited to recreate the magic. Yeah. The charcuterie and cheese board. And then my dog wondering why. Everyone is around. <laughs> yeah. And why can't I eat the charcuterie? Well, you know, he, he gets a piece every now and then. Uh, see, if I let my <laughs> fat French bulldog know that, he would devour the whole thing. You have a French bulldog? Yeah. I have a French bulldog. Stop it right now. What's your French bulldog's name? Biggie. What's oh, yours? Lemmy. Lemmy. Yeah, it's funny. They're named after musicians. Yes. Yes. That's Biggie's great. Nice. Yeah. He's, uh, he's making the transition from L.A. to New York. Okay. Also, um, he doesn't like the rain. He doesn't like the wet paws. Lemmy doesn't like the grass. Yeah. Oh, that's problematic. Yeah. So when we went to LA, he was like, no, I'm going to stay on the concrete. Thank you. Why Mm. don't you get me back on the sidewalk, woman? Yeah. You she monster. (laughs) Yeah. Biggie is uh, confused why there's no grass and he's, you know. Looking, looking for that in his life. I mean, there are parks throughout the city. Right, right. There are a few, like, secret dog parks. 
I always see this one. So I finally took my dog over there. And it's like off leash. Their dogs run like crazy. Mm -hmm. So I take my dog over there. He's a lazy French bulldog. So he runs for 30 seconds. He's like, and then he's done. I'm good. Mm -hmm. We're good. I'm solid. I'm just going to lay here and bark at everyone on my stomach. Mm -hmm. And while they're running back and forth. And so he's just laying there. And someone comes up and like, your dog has to be on a leash. And I'm like... No one else's dog is on a leash. I don't have a bloodthirsty killer. This is not a greyhound. He's not running from building to building. And I saw a dog do that the other day. He just took off from the dog park and started running and didn't stop. Oh, my God. Yeah, he was, like, running and running and running. And there were people, like, chasing after him. And I thought a child was missing. Mm. Like, that was a level of hysteria. Well, French bulldogs are children. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why we love them. It Kelly is. Lady O'Grady. Lady O'Grady, thank you for being here for happy hour. Oh, Welcome fabulous. to New York. Thank you. And may the Yankees always beat the Red Sox. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> this has been Kennedy Saves the World along with Kelly O'Grady. I'm Kennedy. Listen ad-free with a Fox News Podcast Plus subscription on Apple Podcasts. And Amazon Prime members can listen to this show ad-free on the Amazon Music app. Oh, go ahead and leave me a review while you're there. I'd love to hear what you have to say. You've been listening to Kennedy Saves the World on the Fox News Podcast Network. <laughs>